Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to generate the cucumber style report for the karate test. So this is the report type which we are going to generate. In this report type, you have different types of view, such as feature statistic view, tag statistic view, as well as trend statistic view. And this report is much more descriptive as compared to the traditional report which is generated by the karate framework. Now, in order to generate this kind of report, first, I need to add the dependency of the Cucumber reporting in our pom.xml. So this is the dependency and that I need to add in our pom.xml. After this, I'm going to create one more parallel runner where I will provide the implementation for the report generation in Cucumber format. So let me create a copy of this runner and let me call it as parallel builder with cucumber report. Inside this, I'm going to add a private method. And in this method, I will provide the implementation for the report generation. And this method takes the parameter that is the location of the report directory. Now let us look at the usage of this Cucumber reporting. So this is the usage and in this manner we need to provide the implementation to create the Cucumber report for our Karate test execution. So first we need to create a file object that is going to point to the report directory location. Then we need to collect all the JSON file and then we need to create the object of configuration class Using this object, you can specify the metadata which you want to include in the report and then use the report builder class to generate the report. Now, in our case, the report is getting generated at this location. In this location, we have the report in the form of HTML, JSON and XML. So basically, first we need to navigate to this location and collect only the report which is in the JSON format. So let's start with the implementation. Assuming that the report directory location variable is going to point to this location. So first I'm going to create the object of file class, which is going to point to this location. And this is needed because using this file object, we will filter only the JSON file, which is present in this location. So we have the report file in the HTML format, JSON format and XML format. And we need to collect only the JSON file. That means we need to filter out the JSON file from this location. To filter the JSON file from this report location, I will use one more class that is file utils. And make sure that it is coming from the package that is utils. So inside this class, there is a method called list files, and I'm going to use this method for filtering out the JSON files. The first parameter to this method is the report directory location. The second is the extension, which will be used for the filtering. And the third parameter is the Boolean parameter, whether you want to do the searching in a recursive manner or not. So this is the object which is pointing to the report directory. And the extension we have to specify in the form of string array. So new string. And the extension should be JSON. And I will pass the true as recursive flag. So this is going to filter all the file who has the extension at JSON. And the return type of this file is the collection of files. So for every JSON file which is present inside the report directory, we will get a file object. Now using this file object, we will get the absolute path for the JSON file. So let me create one more list 
which will contain the absolute location of the JSON file. And after this, I'm going to iterate over this collection, get the absolute location of all the files. So JSON collection dot for each file JSON files dot add file dot get absolute path. So I will iterate over this collection, get one entry at a time and get the absolute path of that entry and add it to this list. Now, once we have the absolute location of all the JSON file, then we need to create the object of the configuration class. The first parameter to the constructor is the report directory, which is this one and the project name, you can specify anything. So basically, whatever the project name you specify here will be appeared in the report here. And then I'm going to create the report builder. The first parameter to the constructor is the list of the JSON files. So this is the one and the configuration object is the second parameter to the constructor. And inside this class, we have a method called generate report that will generate the cucumber report for us. And then I'm going to call this method inside the execute karate test method. To get the location of the report directory, we can use the result object result.get report dir. So this is the method which is going to give the location of the report directory. Now let me put a breakpoint over here and run this runner in a debug mode. So first we create the object of file class that is going to point to the report directory. And this is the report directory. Then I will filter out all the JSON files, which is present in the report directory. So this is the collection. And inside the collection, we have all the JSON files. And then I'm going to get the absolute location of all the JSON file, which is present inside this collection. So inside the JSON file array list, we have the absolute location of all the JSON files, which we want to include as part of our report. Then we will create the object of the configuration, then the object of the report builder, and then we will generate the report. So the execution is done. Let us open the report directory. So we have Cucumber HTML reports directory. Inside this, we have the Cucumber report for our Karate test execution. So this is the feature view. And you can click on any of this link to drill down for that particular feature file. And we have a tags view. To further drill down, you can click on the tags. So in this manner, you can generate the cucumber report for the karate test execution. Mm -hmm.